Okay, we barely put away the camping trailers, and today we're going to talk snow, specifically snow removal with Chuck Beanstrip from Landscape Impressions because once the snow flies, you shift gears. Right, exactly. We have all the trucks, the employees, and we need something to do in the winter, so we plow snow. What do you think is an important thing for people to consider when they think about that snow removal contract for the for the season? Well, they should ask the questions to their snow plow contractor of uh, how they handle certain situations, such as um, if we have a, uh, a six inch snowfall and their driveway gets plowed in the middle of the night and then the road commission comes through and plows them in, is their plow contractor going to come back and clean that out, or are they stuck with it? And we may have snow events, of course, with the lake so close by, where it snows for several hours, one to two inches an hour, so that removal company has to be back multiple times during the same snowfall. Exactly. And, and the other thing you have to consider is what happens if there's a breakdown. If it's a, if it's a guy with one truck and his truck breaks down, how does he get his driveways covered? So those are questions to ask you know, somebody who's going to do your plowing for you. And I know for you, part of the key to your strategy is really limiting the customers that you'll accept for snow plow contracts. Exactly. We can service our customers a lot better if they're within geographic boundaries where we can keep our trucks all close together. All right, so give me the price point. Here's the driveway. How much would it cost for snow removal for the entire season? For a driveway, a standard two-lane driveway is $220. Whether it snows 10 times or 40? 10 or 40. All yeah, right. That's the price. And if you can get your neighbors to go in on it with you, you multiple can, driveways? Yeah, you can reduce the price. All right. So consider landscape impressions, not just keeping your lawn looking beautiful all summer long, making sure you stay clear from the snow through the winter season as well. You almost hate to see those. You know, we talked about it at the top of the show. <laughs> Two months from today is Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and we... And you were just, you're like, you saw the video, you go, uh. <laughs> almost shocking to look at. Yeah, well, you know, for businesses and homeowners, of course, it's such a huge decision to make for the upcoming season. Our standard snow season, of course, as we were talking about, mm -hmm. runs from November through the end of April. Keep in mind, you want to make sure that uh, you can get to work and school without being plowed in. And, of course, for businesses, it's important that your customers are able to have easy and safe access to your doors and driveways. And Chuck wants everyone to know how important it is to make sure your snow removal company has multiple trucks, multiple drivers drivers and landscape impressions has almost a dozen trucks they outfit for snow removal and they limit the geographical area to, of the coverage to make sure they are servicing their clients completely uh, during especially the snowiest weather days that's right it's really an approach to be admired they will say no to those addresses that fall outside of the uh, coverage area Burlingame to Whitneyville 28th to 84th streets they won't make an exception even for me I live literally a mile outside of that coverage zone and Chuck said sorry DeBoer <laughs> yeah, they're so serious about the approach and remember they do have two great locations all year long and they still actually have some great trees for sale now so not too late to start planting Yankee Springs and the Dutton Caledonia areas so they're easy to find easy for all of our outdoor needs mm -hmm. every single month of the year yeah and uh, what the average snowfall First measurable snow is uh, what November eighth, couple mm -hmm. weeks away. Yeah, couple oh. weeks away. That's right. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, uh, we know Bill's giving his winter forecast yes. Thursday night. You got to get back into the tracking center to track all this rain through the area. Stay west.